It's a Detroit building that sat empty for decades. The city says the mammoth building is not just an eyesore, it's dangerous. And now it's going to court to get it to come down. We'll start on Detroit's west side here at 530. I'm Devin Skillian. Good evening, everybody. I'm Karen Drew. The city is suing the owners of the mammoth building at Grand River and Greenfield. Ron Hilliard is there. Hey, Ron. Hello, we are here at the corner of Grand River and Greenfield. If you pass by, you can't miss this building and you may remember it as Federal's. It's been around since 1949. Well, things have changed a lot since then. It looks a lot different. And in fact, now the city is calling it dangerous and full of blight. One of the things that they tell me is that they have been seeing violations. In fact, since March of last year, they've counted 80 violations during eight inspections, and they've also issued eight correction orders. I own the house right there. I've sat here for 30 years, and they have not done anything. He hasn't even maintained the building. Colin Matthews says he's concerned about blight and safety surrounding the structure that families around here call the Mammoth Building. The name of the last door that was here in 2001. It's open right now. People go in and out of that building all the time. Now the city says it has put the building on its list. M100, structures that need to be torn down. They say they have money from ARPA funds. No longer are we going to stand to allow our community not to receive what they deserve. Vacant with peeling paint and a crumbling facade, time has not treated this building well. And according to the city of Detroit, neither have the building owners. Identified in a suit filed last month as Grand River Place LLC and Greenfield Penthouse Manor LLC. The Mammoth Building is an example of the kind of degradation that we've had to live with in this city for the last 20 to 30 years. Detroit Corporation Council Conrad Mallet says, then there's the pedestrian bridge, which spans Grand River Avenue. Per the complaint, the pedestrian bridge is falling down. I'd like to show you our blueprints because we're going public too. Herbert Strother, who identified himself as one of the owners of the property, says he needs help to tear it down and redevelop it. There's American Rescue dollars available. They will provide the gap, what is missing. And I want the city to work with me. That's all I'm asking for, for the city to work with me so we, I can finish off my legacy. And now he's trying to prevent his legacy from crumbling. Now the city issued and filed that lawsuit back on April 25th. The owners will have 21 days to respond once it has been served. Now the city says they want to go ahead and get this in their ownership and have this building demolished. They say then they hope that it can be developed. Back to you. All right, I've got a question, Ron. That pedestrian, pedestrian bridge, the city says, is unsafe. So is there a chance then that Grand River's going to need to be closed for traffic at that intersection? Ooh, you got some crazy traffic going on right there. <laughs> well, Karen, speaking of traffic, what I'm being told is that, yeah, it's dangerous. So I asked the question, if it could potentially have parts of it dropping some concrete, if the bridge itself could fall down, why is Grand River still open? Well, I'm being told that if it were that serious, they'd have emergency repairs or emergency demolition. So as of right now, they don't think it is at that state of falling down. Wow. Karen? All right. Lots to cover in this story. We appreciate it. Thank you, Ron.